Now that we generated our auth feature, let's create our actions, update our reducer, and create a brand new effect to log the user in. In this video, we'll be creating a lot of code. If you would like to copy and paste to follow along, keep in mind I'll have this snippets link. Go to video 20, click on the snippets link, and you can copy and paste all the code I'm creating in this video into your project. The first actions we'll be creating for is the login modal. To log the user in, we'll dispatch an action whenever the user clicks the login button. And then also when the user clicks the login button on the login page, we'll dispatch a new action for that. At this point, we're gonna be creating two actions. One's gonna be for our login page, when the user submits the form. And then the other one's gonna be for our login modal. When the user submits the form, we'll dispatch an action. We'll pass in the username and password that we get from the form. And our effect will be listening to those two actions. And if it's successful at logging the user in, we'll dispatch a success action. If there's a failure, we'll also dispatch a failure action as well. So we'll need a total of four actions. Let's generate those actions in our auth action file. Inside of the auth action file, let's create our first action. And these three actions that were automatically generated for us, I'll replace with our first action. And I'm gonna call this action our login page action. And this is gonna be for our login component inside of our modules, the auth and the login component. And we'll be dispatching it from the login component TS file. And so I'm being very descriptive here. So we're gonna be dispatching this action from the login component. And then the event is gonna be logging in the user. The payload that we're getting back from the form is gonna be the username and password. So that's what we're passing in as the payload. The second action we're going to be creating is very similar to the first one. The second action I called login modal, and this one's going to be dispatched from our login modal component. So from this login modal TS file, we'll be dispatching this action. So I'm being very descriptive again, and I'm describing where we're dispatching this action from. The event is the same thing. We're logging the user in, and the payload is also the same thing. We're passing in the username and password. When the user is successful at logging in, we'll dispatch this action. And this one will be dispatching from our auth effect file. We already generated that in the last video and that's inside of our effects folder. The event is the login user success. So the user was successful at logging in and the payload is gonna be the user that we're getting back from our API. Let's bring in our user interface and that's inside of our resources folder. And if I click on that, and hit the F12 button. This is what our user object looks like. It has four properties, ID, username, email, and a is admin. And that's our user object. I'll close this down. And now we need one more action to handle our failures. If the user fails at logging in, we'll dispatch this action. And this one's gonna be dispatched from the auth effect file as well. The event is there was a failure at the, for the user logging in. And the payload is going to be a type of any, and I called the, the property name error. And that's the only actions we're going to need for now. We will be creating more in the future, but let's make sure we save this file. Now we're ready to set up our reducer. Now we're ready to update our reducer with two properties, the user object and also the error. If the success action is dispatched when the user logs in, we'll update our state with the user. And then if the failure action is dispatched, we'll update the state of our store with the error. Inside of our reducers folder, open up the auth reducer. And we'll start inside of our state and we'll add two properties. The first one will be the user. And we'll use the same interface we used on the action file, the user interface. And that is this one right here. So those should match up. And then we'll also add in our error. And this is going to be a type of any. And now we just set up our state and now we're gonna get an error for our initial state because they're not matching up. So let's set everything to null. I'll set user to null. The ID, I'll set the null. Username, and that will be null. Email, you guessed it, is gonna be null as well. And then there's another one called is admin, and I'll make sure I set that to null as well. Also, let's do the error. I'll add that towards the end here. And that's gonna be the same thing, no. So we just nulled everything out. That's gonna be our initial state. Now we're ready to create our on methods. 
and we're only going to need two and I'm going to replace this block right here and then save it so it formats it nicely for me and the two actions we're listening for is the login success so if the user is successful at logging in we'll return a new state with the updated user and we'll make sure we set the error to null we're not really setting anything like we're not actually setting the user to the user what we're doing is we're returning a new state a new copy that's what we're doing here and then if there's a failure we return a new state with the user set the null and then the error that we got back from our backend now that we created our reducer let's create our effect the new effect that we're going to be creating is going to be listening to two actions the login page action and also the login modal action if any of those actions get dispatched our effect will kick in it will try to log the user in it will deal with our service and if it's successful it'll dispatch an action for that passing the user if there's a failure it will also dispatch an action for that as well updating our store inside of our auth effect file the first thing we'll need to do before we create the effect is bring in the service and I'll add that within our constructor add that towards the end and this is our auth service and I'll bring that in from our resources and if we take a peek at that I'll click on it and hit F12 and the method that we're going to be calling from within our effect is this login method and this is a totally fake login it doesn't actually log the user in all we do is we pass in the username password and we don't even check to see if the passwords match up with anything all I do here is I check to see if the username exists if it does I return that user and if it doesn't I throw an error and I return a string uh, this isn't really validating the user in any way that's the reason you're able to enter in any password in the form and log in no matter what and that's our service and now we're ready to create our effect and I'm gonna replace this block of code right here with a new block of code and then I'll give it some space here and I called our new effect the login effect we're using the create effect method and then here we're listening to two actions both of these actions are pa passing in the exact same payload and here is how we're going to get access to the payload so inside of this action there should be a username and a password that's being passed in from our form and that's what we're passing into our login method we were just checking out inside the service and right here we're passing in the username and password this gives us back an observable with a user in it or a string and then here if we're successful at logging in we'll pass back the success action with the payload of the user inside of it and then if there's an error we return the failure with the payload of the error and that is our effect if we save this and now we're ready to start dispatching our actions now that we created all our pieces we created our actions we created a brand new effect and we updated our reducer file now we're ready to start dispatching our actions and the two components we want to dispatch our actions from is the login component and also the login modal component let's open up the components that we're going to be working inside of the login component ts file and then the login modal ts file as well and if we look at the login modal when the user submits the form they're calling this method here they're passing in the form information and then all of this stuff is happening and this whole block of code we're going to be replacing this in the next couple of videos for now I'm going to just comment it out so we can reference it later on and then right here is where we're going to dispatch our action before we do that we'll need to bring in our store in the constructor and also our actions that we're going to be dispatching up here I'll import the actions and whenever we want access to our auth actions we'll call this now let's bring in our store I'll add that within the constructor I'll add that towards the end and I'll call it store and we're going to be bringing in the store from ngrx store and the type we're going to be using is our main app state now that we did all our setup work our imports look like this we got our store brought in now we're ready to dispatch the action and right here I'll call the store and then we'll dispatch and then this call our actions I used the from off actions that we just imported in this case we're going to be calling the login page action right here and what's nice about this it tells you the payload that you need to pass in in this case we need to pass in a username as a string and a password as a string and we're getting all that from the form information 
So username, and then that's going to be from the form value username. And then the second is going to be our password, and that's coming from the same location, the form value, and in this case, it's the password. Let's save it so it formats it for me. And that's it for dispatching our action within the login component. Now we need to set up the login a modal component. Up here, I'm going to copy the imports. And let's paste that at the top of our login modal. It's very similar. Then we'll bring in our store inside of the constructor. And that's going to be our app state. And now we're ready to dispatch our second action. And again, within the on submit, it's very similar to our login component. I'm going to comment this out right here. And we'll be coming back to this block of code in the next couple of videos. And let's dispatch our second action. And the payload is username and password. And value password. Save it so it formats it. And now we're dispatching our second action and this is our login modal. Now we're ready for testing. I already have the application running. Let's check this out in the browser. Open up the developer tools, click on Redux and click on the login page. We'll start testing the login page first. In the input, you can enter in the user or admin and you'll get back a success. I'll enter in user and you can put in any password that you, that you want, it doesn't matter. And click login. Now we dispatch two actions, and this is what's really nice about being descriptive here. From a glance, we know who is dispatching which action. In this case, the login component is dispatching this action. We're logging the user in. If we click on the action on the right, here we see the payload. And then we click on our current state. We shouldn't see any changes here. Our current state inside of our auth feature, everything should be set to null. The reason is, is we set inside the reducer our initial state to null. If we look at the difference from the last state to the current state, there was nothing. Now, if we click on the success action that was dispatched from our auth effect and look at the actions, the payload was the user that was passed in from the back end. We look at the state and look at our auth feature. We should have a user in there now, and we do. And the error is still null. If we look at the difference from the last state to the current state, we have a user, that's the difference. Let's dispatch a failure, and I'll just enter in some information here that a username that don't exist, click login, and now here's our failure, and now everything was set to null, and now we have an error in our store. Our login component is working great, let's check out our login modal component. I'll click on our login modal. Again, you can enter in user or admin, I'll enter in user for a success, and then click login. And now we had another success. And as you can see here, our action was dispatched from the login modal component. Then let's click on the success again, and then click on the action. And in this case, the payload is the user. We look at our current state, we should have a user in there. And then if we look at the difference from the last state to the current state, we removed the error, we set that back to null, and now we have a user. Let's dispatch our failure action again, and I'll enter in some information here. Click login. We should get a failure now, and we should get the same result. Unable to log in. Our current state should have a error, and the difference from the last state to the current state is we set the error and we set the user back to null. Everything is working great, but now you might notice all of our side effects are no longer working. We're not getting the user feedback on the right anymore. Our modal here stays open when it should close after the user logs in. We don't redirect back to the shopping page anymore. All of our side effects are broken. Let's fix that in the next video.